When you've been on the hill, it can feel like you're a million miles away from putting good, healthy and safe food on someone's plate. The Scottish venison sector has been reviewing how it can improve food safety standards and minimise risk. Everyone involved has a moral responsibility from what happens on the hill to when that product leaves for the processor to ensure that the highest standards are met. This short film, part two in the series, demonstrates the practical steps that stokers and deer managers should take in preparing a carcass in the larder, with specific emphasis on minimizing risks of contamination from harmful bacteria. The carcass should be moved carefully from the vehicle or pony onto a clean cradle, being careful not to allow it to come into contact with the ground or the yard, especially where there may have been domestic livestock present. A larder record and tag should always be completed. This is the responsibility of the stalker or trained hunter and, in line with best practice, no carcass should be presented to the dealer without a tag. Hands should be washed thoroughly. No larder work should be undertaken if you have had sickness or diarrhea or have been unwell. Implements used in the larder are a source of contamination if not handled correctly and should be returned to a sterile container during and after use. Every cut made introduces yet more risk of contamination and cross-contamination from knives and tools. Cutting from hair to meat where the hair may have been susceptible to contamination further increases the risk. A clean saw should be used to split the pelvis and later the ribs. Also, moving from work outside to inside the carcass should be done with care. The knife should be washed between the external cuts and external and internal cutting. Use of a chest spreader will assist in cooling the inside of the carcass. The chest spreader, like all implements used in the process, should be thoroughly cleaned before use and between carcasses. The stalker should always make a thorough inspection of the pluck and lymph nodes and, as in the trade hunter requirement, thoroughly look over the heart and liver. The back passage can be inspected to make sure it is clear and clean. Rinsing at low water pressure is permissible where there has been no gut spillage and only to remove blood residue. With the head removed, then the lymph nodes here should be checked for any abnormality also. The tag should be completed and attached to the carcass and the larder record signed. The clean carcass should be cooled without delay. The stalker should be happy that it is in a condition where any risk to human health has been minimized. It can then be uplifted by the game dealer in the best possible condition. Remember, that the stalker takes the decision whether to put a carcass into the food chain or not. Just because it had been shot does not mean necessarily that it should be presented for human consumption. Cooking food properly and following cookery instructions is also essential in making sure that food is absolutely safe to eat.